Right, morning again guys, Martin Williams here and we're back at Let's Lead. Weather's a bit miserable today, torrential rain coming up, blowing a bit, but it seems to have backed down a bit now, so I've got a feeling it's going to be a bit breezy on the lake. Um, not sure what we're going to start with today, we've got a boat booked. Um, doesn't seem too many here, I think the weather's put off a few, looks about a dozen, so banks should be fairly quiet. So we've gone with the usual two rod setup. Um, last time I fished the Daddy 5 it was just too fast to sink in line. So that uh, that sort of didn't work last time. So back on the fast intermediate with a big black and gold humongous uh, on the 40 plus intermediate. And on my stalking rod something big, something heavy and something gold. And I think my mate today Luke who I'm fishing with he's on his favourite. Uh, black and yellow dancer yep. and on the stalker the, the one that's always very good here is the orange and the gold stalker so dancer on the intermediate and a gold on the stalker we have to catch a monster well we're going to catch a couple of monsters today yep. this year everybody's been catching monsters on my flies except me so uh, yeah I'm overdue a monster so there's a bit of ripple on the water, which is always nice. Um, and I think what we're going to do first, Luke, we've got a boat booked, so let's get on the boat. Let's have a go on the house pool first, see if there's anything there. It hasn't been as productive this year. The top end of the lake has been fishing better. Uh, watch this bank, mate. It's treacherously slippery. So we're going to go on the boat, have a dabble on the house boy, and I can already see Mr. Francis on the outer bounds peg, giving it to go there. So the wind's blowing in our face, so we're not going to chuck it right into the house bay today. Uh, which boat do you want to go for, mate? Uh, Any preference? These are the more stable. These are the fastest. Speed? So Feel the need for speed? speed? Right, okay, so we're gonna knock off the camera, going to head out to the house boy, tie off on the mooring boy there. Wind's gonna be in our face a bit, but we'll give it a go for half an hour. We're not gonna spend too long a time if the fish are not there. We're gonna have a move around and try and find the fish. I've gone for an olive twin eye cage pattern now, and Luke has gone for one of the old favourites, a flexi cat pattern, so we'll give it a go. We are struggling here a bit in this wind, and it's not nice. Don't want to get a chilly bum, mate. <laughs> oh, and I'm in. in. Took it on the drop, mate. Olive. Olive. Took it on the drop. I turned round to see what you were doing and then uh, the line straightened. On the olive twin eyed leech, one with a bit of red between the eyes, that means red for lead. That was dropping down probably through the water quite fast. Get, them, get him away from the mooring boy. Yeah, he's coming round now. Try 
I can bring him back this way now, mate. I'm going to tangle him up with your lines. Right, he's back. We got him back. There's he too. I don't want him getting near this mooring rope. Yeah, I don't. He's having a go, mate. Here we are, mate. Stick the net underneath him, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's coming up again, I think. Well, it's the first bite we've had. It's, hopefully, you never know. They might have a, an hour where we get two or three now, you know? I'm going to go, mate. Whoa. <laughs> Pulling my arm out, dear, mate. On, he? He's hanging on, mate. He's hanging on. Gosh. It's a bit better than I first thought it was, you know? Right, when he comes up, mate, get that net under him. Go on, mate. Not bad. Not bad, mate. Look. Hey, that's not bad, mate. But that's a let's lead double to start the day, mate. I'll dispatch him now and have a look at the fly. Right. Here we are. Well, that's a good, good start. Is it that olive leech? Is he still in him? Yeah, I got it. I wasn't going to come out, was it? Wow. Well, bad from out of my finger. Right. There we are. Let me give it a give it a wash, guys. So the olive olive leech. The olive leech with the uh, twin eyes. Bit of red through there, but that only means for me red for lead. That means it's just a little bit heavier because we red for lead. I do so many of these flies all look the same, don't they? So with a bit of red, that means lead. A little bit heavier, and we've had here yeah, a nice double figure rainbow to start the day. It was a slow start, but we got there in the end anyway. So things could be starting to happen. Oh yeah wrong with that is it? Nothing wrong with that. So we'll have a bit of a tidy up, wash the net and get going. Cool. Just get the feeling that the fish are there right you know where it's awkward for us to cast. That follow I had from there, the fish I had from there, but it's just awkward for us to punch it into the wind. Last time I was fishing off there, they were all out this angle. Yeah. There. Yeah. Oh, he's in again. Oh, he's in again. Oh, he's in again. So I think we were we were right about those fish being over there. Well, that one feels a bit heavier, the first one didn't, but he's having a go now. I have to wind a bit of lining on this one, dude. Right, okay. So it took us a while to find out where the fish were and what they wanted, right, wasn't it? But up this end, an olive. Oh, he's coming in to the boat really quick. Good in the game. I'm alright, mate, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you carry on, mate. So. Yuck. That wasn't very 
far down that mate either. Just top couple of foot of water. Perhaps a bit of extra lead on the fly. So now he's woke up. It's going round over the cold. Another good one, mate. Oh, they're all good, aren't they? They're all good. Yeah, looks like another reasonable one. at the moment mate thanks just he's heading for underneath the boat wow oh, another, another good one mate yeah. oh and the hook just popped out in the net as they say so let's dispatch it right all dispatched fly popped out in the net it's a good one isn't it Two nice fish there for well over twenty pounds, isn't it? There we are on that. It's that lovely olive leech with that sort of blue flash. That blue flash sort of in the body and large blue metallic eyes. Lovely. Well, a couple of casts, couple of bites now, so that's good. Bit of a wash of the net. Oh, I got it. Excellent, right. Two beauties on the olive leech. Right, let's have another. Right, okay. Let's get back on it with the olive leech. It's done so well for me. Sort of the last couple of years. And one of my mates, Richard. It's one of his go to flies as well, Richard Lindsay. Right, let's get some. Right. Okay, so we took off the damsel leech. Gonna have a little change. Still fish here in front of us. So Luke's gonna go on a big pink lure and I'm gonna try a white snake. Yeah, look, look at that. It's the one then, is it? And it's gone nice and calm for us as well. There we are. No, as you were, that, that sort of normal pull. Yeah. Because it's not a big snake, it's only a mini sort of little snake, that, you know? So Luke's on pink, I'm on white know this fish in front of us so we've had a couple on olive changing the fly now just to see if we can get a few more bites 
fish it to the boat as well, Luke. You know, when you see the end of your line, pull the rod to the side just to see if anything's following it. Fly's looking nice in the water. Let me show you guys a sec. This looks a white snake. Look, see this rabbit fur. And the hook's in the back. So it's got a UV body. It's got a brass head on this one. So I can cast it easier. But you get that lovely soft pulse in action. And if they nip at the tail, yeah, that's in. where the hook is. <laughs> and Luke is in. Second cast on the pink snake. Yeah. Well Seven. done, mate. Second cast on a little mini pink snake. Well done, mate. Worth a change, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Worth a change. Well, we knew there was fish there, didn't we? And they, were in, they went off the olive a bit, so yeah. it was a good move, a good change. I'd be a bit annoyed if it's a really big brown one. <laughs> Whoops, I'm not going up yet. You got him on the reel, that's it. So there we are. Two casts chained on the pink snake. A couple of nice chunky doubles there. That looks great, you know, that one. You can see the pink in his mouth. up again now, but that's all right, it's all right. We're getting some action. We're getting some action here. So we're both on the fast intermediate lines, pulling, you know, pulling biggish lures, and it's working now. They've come on the, they've come on the munch. He's shaking his head. Looks like a blue. Pull up a good scrap, mate. in my new line as well. Yeah. Again, the airflow 40 plus. Oh, that's a nice one, mate. See that pink sticking out of his mouth? It's a beauty, mate. Still going. There we go. Oh, I missed him. Missed him. He's gone again. I thought he was going to swim into the net there, that one. It's a big fish, that, mate. Wide, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, he's on the scrap now. Here he comes. No. Oh. He's hanging on, mate. Drag going on that portion of Hardy Reel. New ultra light range. He's nearly there and he's trying to belly up. Oh, that's a nice fish that. That's a good fish. Is he going to go again? Try and do, mate. God passes the lamb call for work. <laughs> Oh, well done, mate. Oh. oh, that's a big lump. That's a big fish. Put it there, nice. mate. Nice. Well nice. done, mate. You can see that pink snake in his mouth. So we'll let Luke dispatch him and then we'll have a look. So there we are, Luke's fish, probably 12 pound, a right chunk. And he had that on the little, little pink snake with the hot orange eyes I tied up. Tiny little snake, but uh, second cast, something different. We go again? Let's go again, mate. Right. Excellent. Excellent. Right, so we've had a couple of those on the boat. We've had three nice fish, all doubled, so a bit of a cup of coffee, get these on the stringers and put them in the water.
see all my stringers in the back here. the gills, it's cold though isn't it on the hand, there's one, and two, right, so, well that's not a bad start on a bit of a cold miserable day mate is it, that's alright there so, we'll peg them in, no, it's a good one, mate, isn't it? So, that's a good start. There we are. Go! Oh, Bolt it in my hands. Pros. Right, we're going to go have a cup of coffee. So, right, guys, there we are. We've had a change. So, this is a sick long shank. Black marabou tail, gold flash, and a black ultraviolet gold, uh, sorry, a gold ultraviolet straggle flitch. And the whole length of the body I've leaded as well, so it's super, super heavy, but I want it to stand out that bright because I want to see it in the murky water. Too. I think I saw him again. I think I'm going to have a bite off him now. I got him! I got him! <laughs> I got him! He come and grab that then! Beautiful! It's not the one I saw because this is a little one! <laughs> he came and nailed that big Huey! see that fish shape over there's a slightly paler patch there where there's no weed and I could just see that fish on that patch then. Come to the net, come to the net, and he's in, and he's in, that was lovely. Stalked under this tree on that slightly clear patch there. Lovely. On that big size six heavyweight, gold and black Huey. Right, just, just, just. Right, but there we are, all dispatched, let's try and find that. Gosh. Coming out was it? Clean that fly up a sec. Black and gold, heavy, lead. 
beheaded. Humongous. Perfect. I think I'll walk back and just drop him on the stringer. A sec. Boom. Right, let's go and take him up on the street. Let's go and have a chat to Paul. He's been sticking it out in this spot, so I reckon there must be a few fish around him. What have you had? I just had one. Look at him for there. Yeah. Yeah. That's got to be close to him, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> You know, the sturdy fish coming past, yeah? They're coming like, tight in the bank there, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Well, I just, I took the dogs to walk them back. I thought, no, let's try golden orange. And more or less within the first cast of golden orange, it was. But nice. The size of the brown just went past me. He wasn't even a foot off, he wasn't. Just really cruised past. Yeah. And I lost sight to him over there then. But it's good to have one, you know, at least I'm not on blank. That's the, that's the main thing. <laughs> but yeah, they are in quite close. Cool. How's it going, sir? Okay. Yeah. That's a nice one, though, isn't it? A nice one. <laughs> like this. <laughs> That's a big old kipper, that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 14. Nice. Are you heading off now? Or uh, my back's killing me. Maybe yeah. I'll get number 400 at Dever on Saturday. <laughs> Might do, you never know. Let me know. <laughs> hey, perhaps it'll be that lucky black and gold humongous. That could be the one I gave could you. Be the one. That could be the one. With the tungsten head. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have a dabble by you, then I'm going to have a cup of coffee, and I will see you again soon, sir, okay? Is it? I thought I saw one. Yeah, Paul said he saw a really big one. We did a car. A monster! Thank you very much. All right, see you soon. Take care. Bye. All right, buddy. I saw a couple of fish then. Do you fancy going on the boat, or are you just going to stay on the boat? Oh! Ooh, look at that boy! Oh! Snap them all! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I think the phrase rhymes with clucking bell. <laughs> Did you see that then? I saw it. 12.5 grand max on the strike. Did you see the boil. Oh god. That was a beast. Could have been the one. That big brown we're after. Ah. I hope I didn't distract you then. No, not <laughs> at all, mate. Just don't want to speak to you for a little while or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thinking of going on the boat. Mate, go on the boat. Because Paul said if you don't want to go, he wants to come on there. Perfect. You two go, yeah? Yeah. Perfect, mate. Yeah, that's perfect. Mate, just tell him I lost Moby Dick. Snap me on the strike. <laughs> a perch as big as my humongous. <laughs> Look at that. Whoop. And he's gone. A humongous perch. There's one of my boxes here, guys. I've got all these lovely olive leech patterns and some monstrously heavy black leech patterns um, daddy tail leaded stalkers hairs fur and then some nice bright stalkers as well
Orange and gold, but a bit longer tail on this one. So, Got him. Did you see that then? Little fish came and grabbed that. That was cool. On the gold flash. Got the big brown in. Whoa! Oh no, man, he's trying to get under the bridge. Don't go under the bridge, dude. I got him back. I thought that was heading under the bridge then. Never to be seen again. stopped No, I don't think it is, my friend. <laughs> He's having a good scrap, though. He got close to getting under the bridge as well. Lovely Letchley fish on the uh, orange and gold stalker. Let's dispatch him. There we are. So I've just had my fourth fish here at Letchley on the orange and gold stalking bug. I'm just going to get that one out. That wasn't coming out, was it? Oh no. And it's something to do with the fact that my hands are froze as well. There we are. Six, seven pound, I expect. Yeah, yeah. Here we are, sort of orange and gold. 
a stalking pattern. Oh, right, yeah. And then that'll, how that will work is, uh, in the margin, if you flick it, you, can you sort of see it? Yeah. Flick in and, so what I would do with that, I get a, only get a rod length of line. I keep the um, little bit of line out to the end of the rod. It stops it, you know, falling back. And I'll flick it out. I just let it sink a little bit. Just jig it along. Just jig it along, sort of blind stalking. I can just see the fly there now. And if you can't see it, you might get that. Um, you know, just a, a blind take anyway. Yeah. I'll show you what I was catching on this morning as well. And then what I was uh, using this morning, say, but go on the intermediate line, let it sink. Um, it's what we call. Right. Leech patterns. Right, yeah, okay. Put some of them in the box. Oh, there's mm -hmm. one each view there. Oh, okay. very nice. Cheers. Thank there we go. Okay. Oh, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. So, um, yeah, that, that's a good fly. Um, that's a good Slow retrieve. Vary it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I tend to fish fairly quick, okay. but then uh, vary the retrieve as well. But yeah. fishing on an intermediate line, about a 10 foot leader, and uh, especially. See the point there, yeah. that sort of quite bright coloured pontoon we can see oh, the, facing yeah. us here, just yeah. the other side of the tree. Yeah. That area there, hello, <laughs> I haven't seen you for ages. <laughs> Last time I saw you, you pinched my mince pies. Right, here we are, we've had a cracking day at Letchley today. There's weather's been cold and it's been snowy and it's been northerly and it's been windy but we got there in the end four really lovely fish there probably four or five pounds six or seven a couple around 12 so great day at Letchley. Martin Williams signing off. You are right, guys there's the boy driving the boat there rowing the boat They've had to go 300 yards and they've actually drived, uh, they've actually rode about one and a half mile. <laughs>